guys welcome back to my channel um today i am going to try to film a spend all night with a newborn video hopefully it works out <laughs> but um hello if you're new my name is yawin and i am a mom of two babies two under two now i have a baby boy cassian he is a year and a half and we just had baby girl ripley about a month ago um so today i'm going to show you guys like my nighttime wake up wakes wake ups with her <laughs> um and right now it's nine o'clock cassian is already in bed our toddler boy he goes to bed around 8 30 every day um so we're just hanging out in the living room um until about 10 ish then we'll head upstairs and start getting ready for bed but before we go up there i kind of wanted to show you guys like our setup around the house of how i will spend the night with Ripley. So here she is just chilling on her boppy lounger. I actually just found the pacifier today. It's Cassian's old pacifier. Like the people at the hospital didn't want to give her a pacifier even though this was from the hospital a year and a half ago. But yeah, So here is our living room couch and that's where I pump at. But let me go show you guys where Ripley sleeps first. So we'll go up these stairs to our room. Okay, so here is our room. Excuse the mess everywhere, but that is her that is her bassinet. That's where she sleeps. But other than sleeping in her bassinet, we really don't do much in this room. Like, I don't change her diaper in here or feed her in here because Will is uh, still he's working we're taking our staggered maternity and paternity leave so i'm on my last week of maternity leave and so he's working so during our leaves whoever is on leave takes the whole night shift so i will be getting up with her throughout the whole night and then when will goes on his leave he'll do the same so i try not to do much in here that'll like wake him up so that's why we go downstairs and then going out of our room Right here is Cassian's room and he's sleeping right now. So that's why I also don't want to do a lot of things around here because it'll get to his room and I don't want him to wake up. And then here is Ripley's room, which the only thing we're doing in here right now is using this changing table to change her at night. So when I get up with her, I actually take her down here, down to the living room where we were before right here will is feeding her a little bit of milk so so when i come down here during the night i'll sit here and then feed her and then i watch some Forever youtube love. <laughs> yeah some chinese dramas while i feed her but yeah so we'll just chill here for about another hour and then we'll get our night routine started thank y'all for joining us so bye bye Will is giving Ripley her last bottle before bed. Um, it's my pumped milk. I do a mixture of breastfeeding and pumped and then bottle feeding. Um, but for the last bottle of the night, I like to do it in the bottle just so I know exactly how much she sh she's getting. So that we can ensure that she'll have like the longest stretch of sleep possible because she'll be very full. So she'll finish that bottle. It has four ounces she might not finish all of it um but yeah so she'll do that and then we'll change her and put her to bed all right we're doing last diaper change in her room before bed this is what her little bassinet looks like um excuse the little stains i think they're from like spit up and stuff from cassian and from ripley so that's what we have. Um, I know this is kind of controversial to have him sleep in a doctor tot, but she can't roll over at all. And we don't swaddle her or anything. She doesn't need a swaddle to fall asleep. Um, and also we have um, the Owlet sock, which will monitor her heart rate and um, oxygen levels and alert us if there's a dip in it so we feel pretty confident about the way that she sleeps all right it's 9 30 um i just burped her and then i think she's asleep so i'm gonna hold her for a few minutes make sure she's really asleep 
and then put her in her bassinet. She's down. I'm gonna get ready for bed too. I'm gonna brush my teeth and wash my face and then go to bed too. Um, normally, we don't really like go down until like 10.30 or 11, but it's only 9.35, but I'm feeling super tired tonight because last night was a little rough. So I'm gonna try to go to bed a little bit earlier too. We put Ripley down like for her actual bed a little earlier today too, normally. It's like 10, 10.30 before she sleeps. So this first stretch, I'm expecting her to sleep two hours to two and a half hours. So I'm going to go to bed as well. It's like 10.40 something. So I'm going to go to bed and hopefully she sleeps like two and a half, maybe even three hours. All right, wish me luck. Good night. It is 11 p.m. right now. So, and um... When we after we put her down she woke up and then will fed her more milk and try to put her back down like three times and she wouldn't go down so i'm trying now um try to maybe finish up on some milk that we still have left and then hopefully she'll go down and actually sleep this time um i fell asleep i probably got like an hour's worth of sleep so that's better than nothing are you hungry all right i'm gonna put her down again see if she'll stay asleep this time it's about 11 15 p.m it is 1 12 so she was down for about two hours so now i'm going to breastfeed her on one boob and then pump the other one i do that because when she breastfeeds she like falls asleep on this boob and then never wants to latch onto the other boob so i'm gonna feed her on one boob and then feed whatever i pump from the other breast to her from the bottle so she didn't really want to feed um, she wouldn't even open her mouth to latch, so I'm just going to pump and then see if she wants any of the milk. Maybe she'll wake up. Well, she will wake up because I need to change her diaper because she just pooped. So maybe that's why she woke up instead of hunger. But I'm going to pump and see what happens. This is the sound of my nights now. I got about five ounces. Not too bad. Of course, she had a blowout diaper out the front, so I had to change her. But now she's awake, and hopefully she'll take some milk, and then we can go back to bed, because it's already 1.45, so we've been up for like 30 minutes. All right, let's see. You gonna open it for me? Very good. Very good. A bird for me? <laughs> Very good. Oh. Alright, it's 2 a.m. now. I'm gonna take baby girl back to uh, her bassinet. I think she is asleep enough that she won't wake up. So sweet. Hi. 
Hi guys. <laughs> it's 4:52. And then um I'm feeding him or feeding her. I'm sorry. I'm so tired. Feeding Ripley some um leftover pumped milk and then I'm just going to breastfeed her when she's done to see if she wants any more. Uh, I'm not going to pump this time around. It hasn't been that long. And her diaper is not too full, so I'm not going to change it this time because that'll just like wake her up a lot more. Hopefully, this is the last time she's up. Alright, she's all done eating. It's 5.22. Gonna burp her. And then we'll head up to bed shortly. And then I'm also watching my Chinese drama. It's the last episode of this series. Since I've been on maternity leave for almost four weeks, I finished three Chinese dramas. Two of them were like 50 episodes. So I've been having a lot of free time and yeah, since every time I'm up with Ripley, it's about an hour before we go back to bed. Um, it just helps kill the time. So it's 6.52, just changed her, now she's nursing, so hopefully we'll still go back to bed after this for a couple of hours, um, so we'll see. Ripley is done nursing, it's 7.13, well she kind of just fell asleep, so I don't know if she's really done because I feel like my boobs are still kind of full so i'm pumping now um hopefully um i can feed it to her later when she wakes up again right now she is chilling in her swing uh, while i pump all right she fell back asleep she didn't want any more milk so i think i'll take her upstairs and then see if we can sleep maybe for another two hours it's 7 30. I'm still pretty tired, so hopefully I can get a little bit more sleep in. Oh, are you awake? Do you want some more milk? Alright, let's try milk again, and then we'll go upstairs. Good morning. It's 9 o'clock. So we're gonna get our day started. Um, she's gonna eat again. So last night wasn't too bad. I mean, I'm like super out of it right now because I think she woke me up this time when I was like in a deep sleep or something. I'm like so out of it, but. <laughs> so yeah, that was basically what I've been doing the past couple of weeks since we've had her home. So this is my last day pretty much of maternity leave and then on the weekends we me and will switch off like switch off the shifts but next week when he starts his paternity leave i will be able to sleep through the night i'll just get up and pump but he'll do the shifts so i'm kind of excited for that i guess we'll go ahead and get up and get the day started um Thank you guys for hanging out with us last night. <laughs> and I hope you liked the video. If you're new here, we would love it if you subscribe. And if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. And we'll see you guys on our next video. Bye.